Hi, I'm starting my very first PC build. Uh, all the new parts did come from Newegg, and I will be going through these parts and their related costs. I will be reusing one graphics card that I upgraded from my other PC that will not be related as an addition to cost, but this is a budget build with emphasis on power and later upgradability. Uh, first off, I want to start with this NZXT Alpha case. I picked this case mainly because the fact that it does not have a front door. Um, a lot of the newer cases have a door in the front and I find that uh, just hideous, not as clean looking. Uh, maybe some of you like that. I don't really care for it. Um, this right here looks like a very clean looking case to me. It hopefully it is of very good quality, at least enough that I'm satisfied. Uh, this case from Newegg uh, did come with a rebate, making the total cost of only $50. Next we have a uh, Asus P5Q SCR motherboard. It does have the P45 chipset, has a 1600 front side bus. I picked this motherboard just because it's uh, due to price and the specs. There wasn't a whole lot of reviews on it. I'm not sure what anybody else. I don't know what anybody else's experiences is with this board. Um, there again, this is my first build, so I don't have any past experiences to compare it to. But for the cost, uh, this also had a rebate. Total cost would be $80. Uh, with that, we also have a 400 watt Corsair power supply. Uh, the Corsair power supplies do have a lot of good feedback that I see. I just hope that 400 watts will be enough for now and later use. I was considering a 600 watt, but thought, well, maybe 400 watts is enough. If not, then I'll be making a switch. That had a total cost of $38, and it had a rebate. Next up, the heart of the heart of it all, Core 2 Duo. This is Wolfdale. I don't know if you can see that, but E8500, it is the 3.16 processor. I don't plan on uh, pushing it to its extreme, but I do plan on overclocking it, maybe to around the 4 gigahertz, gig, gigahertz range. Uh, with the overclocking, I will need a better fan as I seem to see that the fan that comes with it uh, isn't really a very good quality if you plan to overclock which I plan to do just a little bit that sorry that processor 
was $188. This blue orb fan, um, it's a thermal take. I think it'll go well with the box, being that the lights and the side door, clear side panel. This having lights also. Uh, $45. Looks like a very nice unit. I I read some concerns that uh, it may not fit concerning the placement of the processor and graphics card layout. I'm not sure if this will be the case, but if it is, well, I'll adjust from there. Next. Um, light on 22 times DVD burner with light scribe. Not a whole lot of not a whole lot to talk about there. But $28. Uh, I also have still in the bubble wrap uh, a dual channel Corsair memory kit, total of four gigs. It's uh, two, two gig sticks. It is DDR2, uh, 1066. It is the PC28500. Again, it's the dual channel kit, Corsair. It had a rebate. Total cost is $37. Sounds like a crazy deal there. And a Western Digital, one terabyte. SATA hard drive 3.0 at $105. All those items come to a total of $570. And including with this older card that I have, it's a 512 meg, 128-bit ATI graphics card. I can't remember the price on that. It might have been like a hundred dollars then, but now you could probably pick it up for about thirty-five or forty. So that's it for now. And let me unpack.